Well, hi there, guys. Mark here, and welcome today to a review on the all-new Russia Trax. Stay tuned, and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Well, hi everybody, Mark here, and welcome today to a review on the all new Cy Russia tracks. So, what we're going to do, just going to do a little uh, look around the bike now, run through all the specifications, going to go for a ride down uh, some gravel tracks and trails, over some lumps and bumps, up a few steep hills, and we'll finish off down on a cycleway at uh, Pool Harbour here in the south of England. So the price on these currently, they are £2,799. So this is billed as a hybrid all-terrain e-bike, but obviously um, it shares pretty much all the same parts as the all-new Ranger, which I've reviewed. But obviously this is a step through, so we don't have the sort of top tube here. But if you look down here, it's uh, got this sort of uh, reinforcing part of the frame here with some of the nicest nicest quality welding I think I've ever seen. So yes, yeah, step through design. So that may be of interest to you if you're looking for this style of bike. Now, the motor on this is a 750 watt Beifang motor with 1200 watts of peak power, 80 newton meters of torque. Now here in the UK and Europe, it is limited to an assist level of up to 15.5 miles an hour. Uh, the uh, restriction is a simple sort of a device here in the, uh, on the speed controller, which is just behind here. Now these have an absolutely huge battery. It's a 20 amp hour battery, 52 volt that's in there. Um, it just basically clips in, you remove it with that lever, there's a key on the other side. It takes around about six hours to charge from flat. And these, these have a whopping uh, 50 mile range, and I've actually tried that on my own personal Ranger. Um, I get at least 50 miles easily. So a uh, superb range on these bikes. Uh, weight on these with the battery is around about 40 kilos, so they're quite heavy So do bear that in mind if you're thinking of putting it in the back of a car or onto the back of a you know a rack on the back of your car So these come exceptionally well boxed packaged um, They come with tools mirrors charger and the twist throttle So as I said earlier comes with all the same parts as the Ranger um, the nice thing with the Ranger and this new Trax is they have an air shock which you can adjust for rebound damping and you can lock it out as well there and with a shock pump you can set it for um, sort of sag for your weight. I had to let a little bit of air out just to get the sag correct for my weight. So that's a really nice touch that they've got a quality air shock. So front forks you have preload and compression adjustment on those really nice ride on this bike here yeah, it's super smooth with the big tires as well so these fit a range of heights of different rider i'm five foot seven 170 centimeters just take a look at me on the bike as a reference but if you're about five foot four it will fit you right up to well over six foot so about 165 centimeters way up to about sort of um two meters tall So these come with colossal Kenda fat tyres, 26 by 4 inch tyres, and that's one of the keys of this bike. It's got beautiful ride quality, you know, good suspension, big tyres, it just rolls over everything with really nice smooth ride. More of that later on. 
So another good thing with this uh, bike and the Ranger is that they have a torque sensor. So that means basically the harder you push on the pedals, the more power it gives, which is uh, it really does respond well. So all your controls here, you've got your lights, horn, that's your plus and minus for your um, pedal assist. So you just turn it on simply by pressing there. You've got a really nice LCD colour screen giving you odometer, trip, maximum speed, all that sort of stuff. And you've got your pedal assist there, so we're currently in one, there's two, three, four and five. Nice little horn, turn it off, hold and press there. So this comes with a indexed Shimano 9-speed system that works really well nice thing with this bike is it's high geared so when you're going faster you're not pedaling like crazy ghost pedaling you know these sort of higher gears are very high so it allows a nice relaxed pedaling sort of cadence We've got Logan hydraulic disc brakes front and rear which are very powerful nice and firm got good bite on them no problems with them at all These come with a two-year warranty and they come in this very striking orange that really does turn heads. It really does sort of pop, doesn't it? Also comes in a white, a blue and a grey. Really comfortable seat. Nice to have a comfy seat for a change on these bikes. Uh, that is a battery light that comes with it and the, the front light is pretty decent and that obviously powers from the battery okay then guys let's go for the test ride okay guys let's try out the all new Cy Russia tracks so first thing you notice when you get on is very substantial it really does feel big and beefy exceptionally comfortable seat nice plush suspension it's just a really nice solid bike really comfortable as well so i'm starting off in power assist level two of five that's more than enough power for going along this sort of uh, gravel track right then let's try it out so as soon as you start to pedal you feel the assist come in you don't have to wait it's, it's pretty much instant so very very quickly up to about 15 miles an hour you can really feel that air shock working nicely at the back there and it's just such a smooth, comfortable ride. You know, I mean, it's like riding on a magic carpet. It's that smooth. Shimano gears all work very well, straight out of the box. Haven't had to adjust those at all. And this is a bit lumpy down here. And again, the tires just roll over absolutely anything. I mean, the brakes are new, they're bedding in, but we'll just try a little brake test, front and rear from 15 miles an hour. Little skid there, but they work really well. So off we go again, there's your assist kicking in again, perfectly well. So the riding position, really comfortable, nice wide bars, you can adjust the bars forwards and backwards to suit how you like. I've set these back quite nicely for me, it's a nice upright position. So sort of onto a bit of a sandy track now. Just dropping it down to fourth gear. Still in power assist two. Plenty enough power for this sort of stuff. Onto gravel now. Just gonna go up to three on the assist level. So getting fun, fun now up over these bumps. Really nice. Great fun. It rolls so well over the rough stuff due to the big wheels. Any terrain it will go over, it's really impressive. So a bit of sand here, again, no problem whatsoever. Bit of a hill now, just dropping it down to third gear. Paris three, goes up no problem at all. Down we go, oh, this is great fun. So a bit of a steeper hill now, quite uh, quite rutted. It's about a sort of a one in five, 20%. I'm going to put it into Parasys 5 just to see how it goes up this. I'm in third gear at the moment. Here we go. 
go. Wow, just charges up it. Look at that. <laughs> really impressive. We'll drop it back down to Parasys 2. Out the seat a bit now. Over the bumps. Again, all very capable. Back up to third, down to third gear. Paris is two still. Coming up to the really steep bit now. This is, this is steeper this climb than previous. I'm going to try it in four actually. I'm going to go into second gear. See how it goes up here. This is very gravelly and loose but very steep now. Here we go. Again, very effortless. I'm putting about probably 25-30% power from my legs through the pedals. It's just flying up. So very, very impressive climbing ability on the Russia tracks. So what goes up must come down. We'll um, go for a free wheel downhill now. See how it handles this. Really good so far. Very, very confident and inspiring. So here's our rutted section. Let's try this down here. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's super impressive going down there. So as you can see guys, the uh, track is very, very impressive up and down the hills. Five stars on that. All right, let's just try it on a few of these lumps and bumps, shall we? No problem at all there. It's very comfortable getting out the saddle on it. This is like a sandy terrain here, no problem at all. So you can see the, the track is more than capable of quite a bit more than just uh, gentle tracks and trails. There you go guys. Right, let's take it down to some um, cycleways downtown. We're going to just try it on a nice smooth tarmac cycleway now, down in Pool Harbour, lovely part of the world, just in assist level 2, and we'll just uh, have a cruise. So very easily, up to about 15 miles an hour, just so smooth and effortless. All the uh, Drive chain gears all feels really smooth. Gears all work positively and nice and easy, that's good. Right, another little hill. Assist level two. Gear number four. Going up really well. About 20% power from my legs. And that's in assist level two.
so there you are guys i hope you enjoyed the overview on the Cy Russia tracks e-bike a very very capable all-terrain e-bike uh, super impressive comfort ride quality uh, really nice motor on it exceptional battery life great range and uh, nicely built too anyway let's wrap it up down here and take a final walk round right then let's take a final walk around the Cy Russia tracks in all its glory so these big tires four inch tires just roll over anything and they're the secret to the bikes amazing ride quality coupled with decent suspension nice they fitted an air shock to this model plenty of power from the Beifang motor lots of torque I do like the um the torque sensor you know when you pedal the harder you pedal the more power it gives that's really nice decent comfortable seat Logan hydraulic brakes have lots of bite and feel so that's good all the switch gear power assist levels work really well nice colour LCD screen there Shimano gears, 9 speed work absolutely fine straight out of the box and I do like the um, kind of hybrid step through design makes it easy to get on so there you go guys hope you enjoyed that please post your comments down below please feel free to share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will catch you all again in a week or so for another two wheeled review take care guys ride safe bye for now